Okay, hello and good morning. We're still in week two. And remember, Friday, only on Fridays will you be able to submit your work, not before. And you have all the way to Monday. All right, so take a look. Now, if you don't know the formula for the distance, then obviously you can't do it. Now, I asked you to memorize this. So if you don't have it, copy it down. And let's do it. So your X is the first one here. Not both of these, that's your Y. So you're going to go negative 3 minus 2 and then negative 7 minus 5. And what you do here is you get a negative 5 squared. This right here is a negative 12 squared. And when you square it, it becomes positive. So 5 times 5 is 25, 144. And when you add that up, I'm not sure what you get. I guess you get 169. So the square root of 169 is actually 13. And I made that one up, and it's not a remainder. But there it is. The next one says find the midpoint. To do the midpoint, you're going to add up your x's. So you're going to say this one plus this one would be a negative 1 over 2. So your midpoint would be a negative 1 over 2. And then this one, the second one here, would be a negative 12 divided by 2 is a negative 6. So that's your midpoint. And then I wanted you to graph it. Now remember, next week you have a test. So this is over first. Write that down. Over is like this. So you're going to go negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and then down, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're going to call this one point A. And then the next one is over 2, and then down 5. Uh, so it's about right there. So the distance from here to here is 13. That's your distance. And what you want to do is do the midpoint. Let's see if it works. So that's negative one half, which is halfway. And then down, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's pretty close. And uh, it doesn't look like a midpoint. And halfway. And that's why it's good to use graph paper. So this part should be equal to this part. And if we use graph paper, it would be. But that's what we're going to go with. Let's talk about today's work. Now today's work, you're going to be doing the back side of this worksheet in a little while. Okay? So if you look at worksheet B, and you flip it over, these are the harder ones. Okay. Now look up here. This part right here is nothing but midpoint. So this is not hard. Okay, it's just x plus x divided by 2 and y plus y divided by 2. But this bottom part is the part that I want to teach you right now. So on a new sheet of paper, let's work one, okay? So the end point is right here, and we're going to call this point A. This is your midpoint, and you're looking for point B. So what you're going to do, and we're not going to graph it, but we're going to go ahead and do it like this. So the midpoint is negative 9 and negative 10. And I want you to draw the diagrams because it will help you. You don't have to graph it. Just draw this diagram. Now point B we don't know, so put X and Y. Copy that down. Okay, next. What you're going to do is the same way you did it before with the formula. You're going to take your X plus the other x and set it equal to the midpoint x. Okay, watch. Well, it's a little different. So it's going to be negative 1 plus x divided by 2 is equal to your midpoint, which is negative 9. That's the first step. Then I'm going to use a different color, and I'm going to do my y's. If you draw this diagram, it will be easier. So it's going to be 9 plus y divided by 2 is equal to your y, which is negative 10. And then you got to be able to work these. OK, 
Okay, any questions so far? All right, so we have it set up. You're dividing by 2, so you want to multiply by 2. So you get negative 1 plus x is equal to negative 18. You want to go ahead and add 1. And when you add 1, you get x is equal to a negative 17. Okay, that's one answer. Negative 17. But we've got to find the y. So we multiply by 2. So you get 9 plus y is equal to negative 20. And then you want to subtract 9 and get a negative 29 right here. So negative 29 should be your answer there. And let's take a look and see what we got. So if you look, the answer is correct. Okay, and that's exactly what we got. So I want you to draw the diagram. Now I want you to try one. Okay, so come over here and let's try number 22. So look up here. Draw your diagram, put 22, and draw your diagram. I'll set you up with the diagram right now. So put A, B, and put midpoint. Okay? So put 2 and 5, which is an end point. It's at the end. The midpoint is 5 and 1. And we don't know this one, so put X and Y. Okay? Try and work that one out. Look at your notes, okay? These are the harder ones. Okay? If you want to be... Uh, really good, you need to learn these. And remember, this is on your test. So what you're going to do is your x's. And let's just circle all the x's. How about that? This is an x, this is an x, and this is an x. So you're going to add up these two and divide by 2. So it's going to be 2 plus x divided by 2 is equal to your x midpoint, which is 5. Let's try the y. Let's circle all the y's. Let's put a square around them. Those are all your y's. So it's going to be 5 plus y divided by 2 is equal to your y, which is negative 1 or positive 1. Okay? And then you got to work them out. Let's just finish it up since we're here. We're going to multiply by 2 to get rid of that 2. So you're going to get 2 plus x is equal to 10. You're going to subtract 2, and you're going to get x right here. x is going to be equal to 10 minus 2 is 8. This one, you're going to multiply by 2. That cancels. So you're going to get 5 plus y is equal to 2, and then you're going to subtract 5 and get negative 3. And that should be your answer, and it is. Okay? Put a star by this. I gave you two examples. Now it's your turn, okay? So I want you to finish this work.